Hey, this is Taylor here at Truck World RBA. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2022 Ram 5500. Cummins diesel powered truck, four wheel drive. It has just under 70,000 miles on it. it. Has an IMT Dominator service body. Just refinished a 3820 crane. It's a 7,500 pound maximum lifting capacity and a 20 foot maximum boom reach. Two stage hydraulic extension out to 20 feet. Hydraulic outriggers. Now the goal of these videos is to show you everything about the truck as if you were here looking at it in person. So I'm gonna take some time, go around the exterior of it, um, showcase any cosmetic imperfections, look inside all the bins, inside the cab, and then after that, I'll do a cold start, a drive, and a crane and compressor demonstration on it. If at any point there's anything that you see that you'd like more close up pictures, videos, or information on, feel free to call or text 804. 716-8487 anytime. That's a cell phone number. Always happy to send over any additional photos, videos, or information on this or any other trucks. This is all that I buy and sell. So if you're looking for something similar, reach out. I have all kinds of trucks on a daily basis coming in, going out. Um, I might be working on what you're looking for. Just let me know. Vinyl seats, rubber floors. Need to clean the inside of this one again. We've been driving it a little bit. 69,663 miles. Steering wheel controls. You got your four wheel drive right here. Factory exhaust brake, all your outfitter switches down here. Again, it's a 2022 model, so um, not a whole lot to point out really on the cab. It's fairly clean all the way around. Brand new Falcon steer tires just installed. Anything you see down here is just some dirt and some mud. Um, I don't see any scratches or chips on any part of the cab. As mentioned, the service body was just sandblasted, just the exterior, and repainted and shows like new. Bed liner applied to the front of the bins, to the rear work bumper as well. You can see the reflection in the paint. It's an IMT Dominator bed, 11 foot in length. Again, it does have hydraulic outriggers. And then the driver's side has two sets of drawers in it. We'll get to that in a minute. This is obviously your torch compartment right here. All the latches um, operate off the same key. We do have the key for it as well. Um, they all operate smoothly. All the doors latch and seal as they should. This is your torch compartment here. So you have your bottle racks right there and some shelving there. Some more shelving here. You have a little bit of surface rust along the back seam. That's more just uh, just dirt than anything else. 
very common on these IMT beds. Again, it's just more surface rust than anything else, and it's just along that back seam there. New wireless aftermarket remote, real craft hose reel, air regulators, hydraulic outriggers. Workbench rear bumper with a pass through bin. You have a tow hitch receiver on the back. Factory tie downs in the bed. Take a look at the crane real quick. Just shot the load chart. So, again, it's a 7,500 pound maximum lifting capacity and a two stage hydraulic extension out to 20 feet. You have LED work lights on the back of the bed. Some more shelving in this compartment. Same deal on this side. bit of that surface rust in the back seam. On the driver's side, you have these nice two full sets of uh, IMT drawers. can never have too many drawers. This is just uh, some grease and whatnot on the door. That's about it for the uh, cosmetic portion of the walk around. Um, again, if you have any questions or want to see anything else up close, it's 804-716-8487. Uh, the truck does have two key fobs that come with it. And obviously I have the toolbox key on there as well. Let's start it up and take it for a drive. All right, so you have 1,421 idle. Go back. Uh, 1,453 drive and 2,874 total. 69,663 total miles. Drives great, has plenty of power, handles well.
obviously you're long uh, in a crew cab with an 11 foot service body, but I do find that in general, they seem to ride a little better um, than the single cabs. I think it's just spreading the weight out over a longer wheelbase, I'm not sure. going and it stops on a dime. All right, so the parking brake is set and the PTO is on. Before we get to the crane, I wanted to talk a little bit about the lighting on this truck. So you do have interior compartment lighting in every bin. It's not LED lighting, it's the original uh, kind of halogen style um, IMT lights. It does work. Um, you do have these two LED work lights mounted on the back and all of this is controlled um, off the control panel here. Compartment lights and your back work lights. Um, but every compartment does have lighting in it and all of it is working. The air compressor is controlled off aux 2. Stops right around 150 there.
idle it up off the cruise control. Should have done that before I ran the compressor. But it's all good. Your controls for your outriggers here. Crane side extends, driver side does not. As I mentioned, it's a wireless aftermarket remote. Uh, it's a proportional remote so you can control the speed of the crane. Uh, right now, how it's going is full speed. But you can use the uh, trigger, control how fast, how slow the crane goes, really ease it in. Which is important, obviously, if you have a load on it. As I mentioned before, it's a uh, 7,500 pound maximum lifting capacity. And it's a two-stage extension out to 20 feet total. You see both stages are hydraulic. So that's full extension out to 20 feet.
Hey, I just wanted to say thank you again for watching. Uh, again, it's a 2022 Ram four wheel drive, full crew cab, IMT dominator bed, uh, 7,500 pound crane, hydraulic compressor, two sets of drawers. If you have any questions or need any additional photos, 804-716-8487. You can call or text anytime. This is Taylor at Truck World RVA. This is all I buy and sell. Let me know if you're looking for something slightly different. I have many different ones to choose from and we're always getting more trucks coming through. Um, we do ship anywhere in the United States and I do have commercial financing available. Uh, so let me know how I can help or if you have any questions about this one. And again, I appreciate you watching.